Good morning, with Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command MC 60 Six Day Challenge 2.0. And today is day 10. Today we remain inside our recruits applet, and we're going to talk about actions in bulk. How to do up to seven different actions in bulk using our recruit management tab. Let's go ahead and dive into the recruits applet. We'll go into our recruit management tab. We're gonna see all of our fictional characters here. And right now you can see there is no bulk action menu. In order to see the bulk action menu, I actually have to click on one, two, any number of, or even all that are currently showing. Remember I showed you how to see more than one, right? Recruit at the same time. And that would then allow us to see all of those recruits at once. So I can say, hey, I want this action to apply to all of the up to 100 showing on the screen. Or I could just hand select one or more. And the bulk action menu, it's up here inside of Command. We actually move it down to the bottom inside of Command MC. <clears throat> so you can see that there's actually five visible bulk actions. There's two more hiding underneath the more options drop down here. So that first bulk action, I can add one or more contacts at once to a smart plan. Don't worry, we're going to cover smart plans later on in the challenge, but that is a bulk action that I can do. I could actually add a one or more tags to my recruits in bulk up to 100 at a time. I could add a specific note. Now again, remember this is not an activity. So this is not a way to bulk log your calls or texts, but if there was a specific note that you wanted added to more than one recruit at a time, we could do a bulk action for that. We could add a task. Maybe it's a follow-up task or a specific invite task, something along those lines. We could do that inside bulk. We could add them all to the pipeline. <clears throat> so maybe two, three, five, ten people at once. We want to add to the pipeline in a specific phase and stage. We're getting that, getting to the pipeline here in a couple of days. Or we could choose more options and we could bulk assign recruits to a specific member of our leadership team. Or we talked yesterday about archiving one recruit at a time. You actually have the ability to bulk archive contact or recruits as well, several recruits at a time. So we walked through the majority of this smart plans we're going to get to, but if we did add tag, you can see that we could select from the tags that we have created. If it was a brand new tag that we were creating that didn't already exist, we could just type in what we wanted that tag to be. We could choose to create it, <clears throat> choose a color, and then add tag. That would be a new tag that we could utilize with our recruits. Again, adding notes, we could do that. We could have a note title and description. Again, just remember this isn't logging activities, especially when it comes to reporting. Uh, we definitely want to log our calls, our appointments, etc. But if there was a specific note that applied to more than one recruit that you wanted to add all at once, uh, maybe you wanted to add a note that they all attended your broker open house. You could do that pretty easily. You could just say, you know, this person, this person, this person attended broker open house, 123 Main Street, maybe put in the description, the date, who the agent was that hosted it, um, anything along those lines. So that would be a way to bulk add notes. You can see that we can add tasks. So very similar to adding a task for a single recruit, but now you can add them in bulk through the create custom task in bulk option. We talked about adding to the pipeline. Uh, just be careful. Obviously, you're going to choose the same status for all of them as well. Uh, it might be the same brokerage. So <clears throat> got to be careful with bulk actions, especially in add to pipeline, because uh, in addition to adding them to the pipeline, you have the ability to choose a production status and or brokerage as well. And then finally, we showed it, but the add assignee, I could assign these recruits in bulk to somebody on my team. And then, of course, archive as well. Uh, we talked about that not really making them disappear, but at least disappear from your list for now. We know that we always have visibility into those archived recruits by clicking on our little abacus with our filter drawer and showing pipeline status of archived that would show them still sort of hanging out in the back end of Command MC. Uh, so if we wanted to clear any of that, we could just choose clear selection. That sort of unchecks all of our people. Again, remember to get that bulk action menu to show up. 
you do need to select at least one recruit to see those seven options that we have for bulk actions inside of the recruit management tab of the recruit applet. That's it for today, guys. A little short and sweet. Uh, tomorrow, I said a couple of days, we're actually diving into the pipeline tomorrow. So come back for that. We're going to get in out of recruit management into recruiting pipeline. We're going to talk phases. We're going to talk stages. We're going to get down and dirty in the pipeline. So come back for that. As always, it's fantastic talking to you and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.